home roots on 96.5 WKLH and WKLH HD, Milwaukee's hometown rock. That's one small step for man. Boozer dumps it low left to lose. Ask not what your country can do for you. Who are you? Bond. I'm going to assume the summer fits is going to stay unless somebody can show me a better alternative in this community. The 70s will be a time of new beginnings. The, the root of rock and roll. Rock and roll roots with Steve Pallick on Milwaukee's hometown rock. One of the things I'm proud of being a Milwaukeean is... And this is pretty obvious. It's Summerfest. I was there yesterday walking around in the afternoon, and you can see bands that you know very well, like Blue Oyster Cult, and then you could walk, oh, 50 feet away and see somebody you've never heard of, and you get to do it for 11 straight days. Now, here is somebody maybe you've heard of, but I want you to know this guy because he is coming to Milwaukee at Summerfest on July 8th, and he can count among his many acquaintances in the music industry, David Bowie, who he worked with on Bowie's last album. Good morning to Jack Spann. Hey, Jack, how you doing? Hi, Steve. It's so good to talk to you and to be on the air in your beautiful city of Milwaukee. Thanks and, for calling me. Oh, my pleasure. Now, you're in New York, right? Yeah, actually. Um, so, I moved to New York in 1998 to try to make a dig in the music business, and I never quite did. But we just, uh, my wife and I just moved upstate. So, we're about 75 miles north of New York City right now, and it's absolutely beautiful up here. You guys have... I'll come up and see it when you get a chance. Now, is uh, New York where you worked with Bowie? Yeah. Um, it was at uh, the Magic Shop recording studio. Mm-hmm. Um, I am old friends with an acquaintance of Bowie's who, uh, <clears throat> when, when they were getting ready to go in and do demos for Black Star, I got a call. Um, they wanted someone who could play a little jazz and a little rock, but not like jazz rock. Uh-huh. Like somebody, a rock and roller who knew jazz. And um, so I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. And uh, showed up at 10 a.m. on Monday morning, and this man walked up to me and said, Good morning, Jack. <laughs> How are you? And it was Bowie. And it was just like the weirdest thing because I've seen him in concert before, but I never thought that I would actually be sitting in the same room with him. And um, yeah, and it was just a beautiful four days. You know, I, I'm not sure. I, I know that rock stars get these rumors that surround them, you know, like yeah. as tantrums or that, you know, I, he was nothing but a gentleman to me. He was so nice. And we, during the downtime, we watched videos. We watched, actually, the funniest thing was we, <laughs> he showed me the video of him and Ricky Gervais where he's singing that, like, like have you ever seen that before? It's just like, he's, he's got the song, it's like, Little Fat Man. Right. I've seen that, yeah. And I had never seen it, so, you know. So anyway, that's, that's his sense of humor. He was just the nicest guy. Um, he had actually asked me to tour with him as one of his keyboard players. And then the whole thing happened. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, he met the same end that the rest of us will all meet someday. Um, so, um, you know, I, I never made it onto the album, but I do have permission from the estate to talk freely about the, uh, the demos for Blackstar, which... You know, we're still out there, and who knows? Maybe someday they'll see the light of day. Um, well, you know what, what? People can go out and get your album right now. And uh, I should mention, uh, before I forget, July 8th at the Harley stage, 4 p.m. at Summerfest. If I'm ever in love again. Give to someone else to hold Knowing somehow sometimes magic wins Oh, but magic deceives Love drops like leaves So I bow out before I cut in If I'm ever in love again Yeah
1065 WKLH. Rock and roll roots. If I'm ever That's Jack Spann. He'll be at Summerfest. Friday, July 8th. Here's your weather watch. 12 forecast. Mix of sun and clouds today. High of 74. Partly cloudy tonight. Low in the 50s. And tomorrow, more clouds and sun. And a high of 75. If I'm ever Great singer, songwriter, and keyboardist. Jack Spann. Speaking of which... When Johann Sebastian Bach died in 1750, he was mourned more as an organist and keyboard player than as a composer.